Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So today I would like to talk a little bit about the different movements among model interchange chords that we have described in the chapter 5 of the book Reharmonization Techniques written by Randy Phelps. So especially today I would like to talk about the example that we have on page 48 that we have one harmony progression in one example and then we have the application of the modal interchange chords. So first of all, let's listen to the original form. Okay, something really beautiful, but perhaps applying the model interchange chords, we can have something completely different. So let's see the chords that we have here. So first of all, we have the use of the B flat major 7. So this chord uh, we have normally in the, in the scale of the C natural minor. And the B flat major 7, it's a chord that I can use, um, especially with the function. Normally, if I just want to create a, a movement to approach another chord, but here is especially about creating movement in my harmony progression. So I have the A, B major 7. So this is a chord that also we can find out in the, when we are using the harmonic minor. And here is especially to approach the G7. It's a kind of a smooth way to create a kind of um, chromatic movement um, just when you have the A minor, the A major, A flat major 7, and the G7. And then we have also the E flat major 7 that we can also have this specific chord when we have um, in the natural minor key. And this is a kind of a preparation as a kind of, um, if I can say, a subdominant. No, sorry, a dominant in some ways, even though that I don't have the, the, the dominant, but you know, it's a kind of a movement of seven chords, but not exactly just a kind of a movement of a fifth apart. So just created a kind of a, some specific movements just to prepare again. So in, in some ways in this part, I can imagine that when I'm playing the, the E, B, major 7, I want to use um, in some ways with the same intention when I'm playing the natural minor or just imagine that I'm playing C minor for one moment and I want to connect these different chords. But when I play them, I really have a kind of a feeling between the kind of the E, B flat major could be in some ways a kind of the tonic of C minor and also the A flat major 7 it's a kind of um, a kind of a subdominant approach in for my C minor a kind of but again, um, when we see here, we also have the F minor. So the F minor also is not part of the, the key of C major, but is part of the C natural minor and harmonic minor. That could be one example. And then we have also the... Um, here we have the D. 
So I just need to correct here. So the D flat major seven also here um, when I'm having this specific chord. Also, this chord is not part um, of the original C major, but if I consider the Phrygian mode, this could be part. So as you could see, we can mix many different modes. So the only thing that you need to do is, okay, am I making sense what I'm doing? So if I'm making sense, for example, using the, the D flat major seven with the C, okay, it makes sense because for some seconds, you can imagine that you're playing Phrygian. And this is the beauty of connecting many different things. So now let's listen the final result of mixing things in natural minor, harmonic minor, but all the different things they are around the key of C, but in different modes from the C. Sorry, I will play again just to do this. Perfect, yes. It is really beautiful, yes, I know. So let's listen one more time because now really pay attention in the beauty when we are connecting so many different ideas around the key of C major. Yes, so I really hope that you can play by yourself this example because it's really beautiful to hear. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.